What's going on, family? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, AKA Money Mike, the financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Today, I am actually beginning a new segment for my channel known as Ask Money Mike. Now, what I'll be doing is answering your financial questions that you may have. So, I'm getting my financial questions from my social media. I'll leave those links down in the description. But today I'm going to address a financial question asked by my good friend out in Georgia, Miss Clarissa Jackson. So if y'all ready for this, I'm definitely ready. Let's get into it. Today we are doing Ask Money Mike. And today we're answering a question from my good friend out in Georgia, Miss Clarissa Jackson. And Miss Clarissa asked, is cryptocurrency a safe and recommended investment? First and foremost, Clarissa, thank you for your question. And so to answer your question, I've actually went online and did a little bit of research and found an article that I think is a good answer to the question. Obviously, I'm gonna add my own personal um, spin on it and put my own thoughts. Now, disclaimer, before I even get started, um, after I read the article, once I start giving my thoughts, this is not financial advice. This is not me saying what you should buy, what you shouldn't buy. This is me giving entertainment and education the decision to buy or not buy into cryptocurrency is yours and should be based on research and a certain level of risk um, tolerance. That is my piece on that. And so without any further ado, let's actually check out this article. So this article was actually written by The Motley Fool. And the article is basically asking the same question that Clarissa asked. Is cryptocurrency a good investment so we're gonna kind of skim over this article real quick and hit the high notes and then we'll talk about my thoughts all right so they're basically saying okay it's possible to get filthy rich by investing in cryptocurrency in 2022 but you could also lose all of your money investing in crypto assets is risky but also potentially extremely profitable now cryptocurrency is a good investment if you want to gain direct exposure to the demand for digital currency. A safer but potentially less lucrative alternative is buying the stocks of companies with exposure to cryptocurrency. So now let's actually talk about the pros and cons of cryptocurrency. All right, so the first con that was listed is, is cryptocurrency safe? Now, Several factors make cryptocurrency a not entirely safe investment. Now, however, other signs are emerging that cryptocurrency is here to stay. So now let's look at some of the risks. Um, cryptocurrency exchanges are vulnerable to cyber attacks. Competition is fierce among thousands of blockchain projects. Regulations might be against the crypto industry in the future. And products based on cutting edge technologies have innate volatilities now so let's talk about that real quick some of the risk cryptocurrency exchanges more so than stock exchanges are vulnerable to being hacked and becoming targets of other criminal activity security breaches have led to sizable losses for investors who have had their digital currency stolen spurring many exchanges and third-party insurers to begin offering protection against hacks now, um, let's also talk about um, some of the cryptocurrency adoption. This is a more positive point. Um, despite the risk, cryptocurrencies and the blockchain industry are growing stronger. Much needed financial infrastructure is being built and investors are increasingly able to access institutional grade custody services. Professional and individual investors are gradually receiving the tools they need to manage and safeguard their crypto assets. Crypto futures markets are being established and many companies are gaining direct exposure to the cryptocurrency sector. Financial giants such as Block, which is um, Cash App, and also PayPal are making it easier to buy and sell cryptocurrency on their popular platforms. 
Now, other companies, including Block, again, Cash App, have poured hundreds of millions of dollars into Bitcoin and other digital assets. Tesla, Elon Musk, has purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin in early 2021. Now, by February 2022, the electric vehicle maker reported that it held more than $2 billion of the cryptocurrency. All right, so now the question is, is crypto a good long-term investment? So at this point, I'm going to actually um, kind of chime in on this because it's just talking about um, the two types of cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. And also um, it actually gets down into, should you invest in cryptocurrency? And it answers that. If you want to read this article in full, um, I will leave the link to this article in my description. Now let's actually put my spin on in my thoughts again. This is my thoughts. This is not to be taken as me giving you investing advice because I am not a stockbroker. Can't give you that. But to answer you and to answer Clarissa, I personally, after reading the article, I would say that cryptocurrency overall, overall is a good investment. And I'm going to tell you why. First and foremost, um, it does have the risk of being hacked, but right now it um, the, the the blockchain is a much more secure way um, than you know the banks and different things like that to have your money. Now, some of the risk obviously is the safety hacks, regulation things like that, and you know it may it may get cut down, but I don't see that happening because again it's providing infrastructure, it's providing um, a new way to get money. Um, the, the answer to the question again is yes, I believe it is a safe investment because I see a future in it. And so with this, I'm going to give you this advice. Um, I think it's a safe investment, but to, to kind of get, get your own risk assessment of it, you want to kind of take a look at where things are going. We've already got, um, Bitcoin ATMs out there, a lot of people are already preferring to use Bitcoin. A lot of people are wanting to get paid in Bitcoin instead of regular money. Now, where that where that whole appeal comes from, as we already know, the dollar is depreciating. It's becoming less and less valuable. And also the inflationary times we're in right now, as we all know, in times like this, people are looking for more limited assets meaning um things that you know they don't have so much of it when they don't have a lot of it it becomes more valuable and i believe bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is going to have that same appeal like gold and precious metals is kind of in that realm right now but bitcoin is going to have that same appeal and other cryptocurrencies um so i think it's going to become a lot more valuable. I think that this is something that because it's a limited resource, it's gonna be something that, you know, you don't experience as much depreciation in. And you may actually see it going up in value like homes and other things like that. Um, now a safe option, let's say you don't want to get into crypto in entirely. You can actually invest and buy stocks in companies that are moving towards crypto such as again block which is cash app paypal and other companies like that to where now you're not you don't have as much exposure to those risk to cryptocurrency and so that is a way to do a little bit of risk management so if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit the like button and also whatever comments you have about this go ahead and leave them below because i want to hear your feedback on it you got my thoughts on it so I want to hear your feedback. Once again, I want to shout out Miss Clarissa Jackson out in Georgia for sending this question. I think it was a great question and something very, very um, pertinent to what's going on. So I hope everybody that watched this got value. If so, please hit that like button um, and also subscribe to my channel. The likes and the comments help me get more of this in front of people because YouTube sees y'all like it. And so they put it in front of more people. So I appreciate you all for jumping on. Definitely, definitely appreciate the questions. And y'all keep them coming. And as always, I love you. God loves you.
He smiles when he sees you, and he sees you all the time, so he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Y'all take care of yourselves. Keep asking your money questions. Until the next time, I will see you on the next one. God bless you all. Go. Today's video is sponsored by my company, Money Mike LLC. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching, where we talk about strategies to help you to get to your financial freedom, whether it be through making more money, rapid debt elimination, helping you lower your taxes, investment education, or how to repair or build both personal and business credit. Now, if you think you might be interested, my website is in the description box of this video. The website is going to allow you to book a free 30 minute financial planning session with me and we can discuss if I'm the right fit for you.